Hey guys, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies, and uh, this is our first video tutorial in a while. Um, our two year anniversary video just came out, so um, it's not, you know, the greatest edited thing, but whatever. But what I'm going to go over today is a glint effect on some text that I made in my um, box kind of style intro. Uh, it's very easy to do and is very effective, so uh, let's get started in After Effects. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new composition, uh, do whatever settings you want. Uh, settings can get really complicated, but for tutorial purposes, just um, whatever. So uh, I'm going to be using a video for my glint effect because um, that's what I wanted to do it on. But you can use uh, some 2D text or shapes or whatever you want to do. And uh, I imported two of them because we need to make uh, a luma mat. So um, I'll get to that in a second. But I need to make these fill up the page a little bit. And there we go. So we have our two video tracks here. Um, I'm going to go about here to where they stop moving to get my glint effect. It might be hard to see, but um, you'll definitely see it on the red and on this uh, darker grayish part here. Um, so what we need to do first is we need to make a new solid layer. I'll go ahead and make it white if you, unless if you want some sort of like bluish uh, glint, then go with that color. But I went with white and basically now you just drag your um, solid to however thin or wide you want your um, glint to cover. So I'm going to go about there, it looks pretty good, and then I'm just going to rotate it, uh, seems about pretty right, and um, you can go ahead and kind of preview what it's going to look like by dragging it over there uh, across your text, so um, there's that. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to just blur out the um, white bar part so it's an actual like not so sharp and little softer edges so if we just go to effect uh, blur and sharpen and add a fast blur uh, make it to however much you like seems pretty good to me and um, if you like that you can keep going on however um, you can make it a little more dynamic by duplicating this layer and decreasing the inner width and maybe even adding uh, a different type of um, blur so it gets in more uh, looks more glowy um, so yeah so once you've created your um, thing that you want to be affected since we have two layers um, in order to keep them together we're essentially just gonna hit shift go to layer and pre-compose this layer um, name it whatever you want it really doesn't matter but all it does is it really just like connects them and if you want to edit one of them you can just go over to um, your, you can double click on it and the two layers will be right there. So uh, next thing we need to do is we need to drag this layer in between our two, um, in this case, movie layers. And um, you can't see it now, but it is, it is there. And the only thing we need to do is toggle um, your switches if you don't see the uh, track mat mode and parent functions. Just hit that button or F4, either one works. And uh, change the mat to Luma mat. And if we leave it here and we click the pre-composed, if I think you can see it, um, the uh, the glints on the the letters and not the background. And if we didn't have that, then um, it would just be uh, like it was before and nasty and not good looking. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty easy if you want to do different colors, you know, just change the colors. And uh, to animate it, you would just um, animate the position. You start maybe here, add a keyframe, move over, and uh, end it there. So if you see, it just quickly glints over the text. Uh, really easy to do and effective, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you thought it was helpful. Thanks for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, 
please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that it